one and two and three. Oh, oh, hello guys. Uh, I was just practicing my climbing, and uh, welcome back to some more Arcane Odyssey. I do believe that this is episode ten of the series, and an update just dropped. So now we have more story to complete. So worries of war reach port mistral okay so that is what we're gonna have to do let's go and reach the port let's see what what's gonna happen <laughs> whoa what is this place yeah, i might as well make a detour and see what this is Looks like an abandoned mine shaft or something. Okay. We can't. Oh! Nothing? Okay, we can't go there. There's something there. I can. Oh, treasure chest. I can open treasure chests through the ground. Okay. Not bad, not bad loot. Okay, let's continue on to Port Mistral. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to sail the rest of the way. Okay, looks like we've came across an island shale reef, but this is not where we're supposed to be, so let's keep pushing on and continue the voyage. Okay, looks like we are arriving the port of Mistral, so <laughs> yeah, let's see what this place has to offer. Let me make sure I'm actually docked properly okay we're he we are here at the port and whoa what's going on it's in flames why is it on fire were we too late and did we not get here on time okay Get ready to fight. I don't know who's gonna be here. Oh, chest. Okay. Oh, we were supposed to go in from the other side. How could this? Ha how could this have happened already? We should look around for any survivors. All right. Let's split up. Be ready for a fight, you guys. Will it be okay, Morden? Yeah. Don't worry about me. Okay, so we need to search for survivors. Is this dude a survivor? Uh, I don't think so. Not a survivor. Nope, he didn't survive anything. Okay. Oh, it looks like this dude is a survivor. Sumerian soldier. G get back! Leave me to die in peace, you ravenous dog. I'm an ally. Was it Karax that attacked this place? Ah, thank the gods. Yes, they swarmed the town with a few dozen men. We didn't have much time to prepare. Our scouts saw the ships on the horizon and tried to evacuate the people as quickly as possible. <laughs> But, I'm wondering how we didn't have more of a warning. They must have destroyed the portal ships on the border of the Vimir Sea. Say, you don't look like a soldier. I'm a mercenary that was sent by Empress Nila. My group was supposed to help the forces defend the island, but we were too late. We only just got here. That's a shame. The Karak's forces that were here left very quickly. They swarmed the town and started killing and setting fires. Then, we're, we're back on their ships. We managed to evacuate most of the populace, but as you've probably seen, there were some casualties. Okay, that's good to hear. How foolish we were to think we could negotiate with Karax. 
We should have known they would strike first and hard. Buzz. Huh? What? Carrick's Vikings? Some survivors, say? Say your prayers. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to fight these people. Uh. Okay. Okay, looks like we have taken care of them. Sumerian soldier. I had no idea there were still some of them on the island. Thank you for protecting me. Come on, I'll carry you to my ship. We're going back to Sumeria. Quincy, come over here. Okay, let's go see what's going on. Yep, yeah. okay, we're carrying the dude. Where do I have to go? Meet Iris, okay. We're doomed. What is that? It's a Fernrier, a massive ship personally created and enhanced by Wu Tan's powers. They're the flagships sent in as temporary base of operation, usually for invasions or wars. Oh, now that is a huge ship. We need to leave before we suffocate from the smoke. These fires will spread and wipe out the entire island. Her Majesty must be informed at once. The war has begun. Wow, so the war has begun. And looks like Kyrex was the first striker. So now we have to go sail back to Samaria and reach the Sun Palace. So I'll see you guys when I get there. Ooh, things are getting intense. Okay, looks like we are back at Samira. Samiria. And, oh, okay, we got an anchovy and a treasure chart from that dude. Let's go back to the Sun Palace. Okay, looks like we're back at the capital, and uh, to our left is the Sun Palace. So let's go to the Sun Palace. Hey, our mercenaries here to report back to Empress Nila about what we saw at Port Mistral. Ah, right. I remember you lot. A group of our men came by a while ago to give their reports to Empress to the Empress as well. From what I've heard, the news is pretty grim. The Empress is meeting with the Sumerian generals at the moment to discuss plans. So I suppose I'll lead your group in and we'll see if she'll meet with you. Sounds good. Let's go. Samira Soldier, Your Majesty, the three mercenaries you met with a few days ago have returned with a report. Very well. Send them in. Welcome back. Okay. You are greeted by General Akim. General Kalia, General Nasir, and General Hassan, along with a few of my trusted warriors, Nor and Khalida. Okay. Hopefully I'm pronouncing those names properly. <laughs> now, speak of what you saw at Port Mistral. It is imperative to our plans going forward. Morden. The place was in ruins as soon as we arrived. We confirmed it was Kirax who ambushed your soldiers there and tried to save as many as we could. We just didn't get there fast enough. We saw a massive ship on the horizon sailing into the Nimbus Sea. One of the soldiers were rescued. Called it a Fenrir. A Fenrir. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that properly. Then war and invasion has begun. It's an advisable to attack the Fenrir head on, as there may be a son of Wutan on board. I want none of you to directly engage them aside from Akim. 
should the situation arise, understood? The sons of Wutan are Taiwats? The wielder of the frost metal curse. Frost metal? That's frost and metal, okay. Jarsun, wielder of the lunar curse. Baldor, wielder of the Aether curse. And Wutan's eldest son, Donar, wielder of the lightning curse. Wow. Wow, okay. It is unlikely that Wutan will show himself this early in the invasion. However, he is never to be engaged. He wields the wood curse, which is why his kingdom's naval capabilities are the best in the war seas. I'm sure some of you have heard tales of his strength. He is undoubtedly one of the most powerful in the war seas. Akeem. I have decided to send you to set up a naval blockade behind Rosehenge, uh, spanning to Shell Reef, and then to Hollow Grove. We must not give them more ground. After this, you will go to Hollow Grove and stay there until further notice to make sure they don't advance in that direction. Be safe, old friend. Okay, he looks a bit sus with that, that glow of his. Okay, as you wish, my lady. Okay, I'm first Nila. Kalia, take the captains and our forces to Rosehenge. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. It's most likely to be their next target. Be careful. <coughs> yes, your majesty. Monsieur, I want you to go to Fort M Montu? Montu? Set up an infirmary and have all injured soldiers sent there. We have to keep our forces healthy if we want to stave off at this assault. Of course, your majesty. I'll save as many as I can. I'm good at what I do. Okay. Of that, I have no doubt. Hassan, I need you to go to Oak Island. Scout out the Fenrir's... The Fenrir... Locate Fingrier's location, sorry about that, and disrupt their advances to other islands using hit and run tactics. Ambush them and report back to me what you find. Okay, trying to slow down the invasion. Yes, ma'am. They won't see me coming. Hopefully. The Kingdom of Samaria thanks you for your desire to help. Unfortunately, your group will need to be split up and sent to different locations in order to maximize their chances. Oh, so we're splitting up again. Wow. We'll do whatever it takes, Your Majesty. Where do you need us to go? Which of your group is the strongest? I think I might be the strongest. I don't know. Yep. What? Oh, Morden. Is it because you obtained a curse? I mean... Okay. If I may inquire, what curse do you possess? Your answer may affect my plans. Okay. The death curse, Your Highness. <laughs> Whoa, the whole room just turned over. Except for this dude, so that's how I know he's still sus. Okay. A great power and harsh reality. Stay true to yourself, young curse user. Time is a harsh passage, and this world is cold. Surround yourself with the warmth of your comrades. Keep them safe. I wasn't much older <coughs> I wasn't much older than you when I obtained my own curse. <laughs> Nevertheless, we must continue with our plans in order to save lives. I never knew this empress had a curse. Okay. Iris, was it? Would you mind accompanying my daughter, General Kalia? Kalia? I don't know. I'm, I'm sorry for butchering these names. Kalia to Roast Hinge. Rose Hinge. Uh, your magic's power will be an asset. Okay. Yes, your majesty. Oh. Morden, if you would join Hassan... Hassan, oh, okay, that's how you say it. If you would join Hassan on his mission to gather information, that would be greatly appreciated. Quincy, me, I need you to go to Sky... Sky Hall? They've been reclusive for some time, but we need as much help as possible. Try and enlist their help as best as you can, though I doubt much will come from it. The only known way to get up there is by glider. Glider? What is glider? A craftsman in Al-Jahal. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Sorry if I'm butchering the name. 
should be able to make one of should be able to make one for you. You must sail to the volcano underneath Sky Hall and use the intense fumes from it to carry you and your glider all the way up to the island. It sounds far fetched and dangerous. I know, but this is the only way for us to reach them, and I have faith in you. Okay, so we have to we have to basically go to another Sky Island again. In the meantime, I will be addressing the people of Samaria and sending word to all of our sworn islands. Wish you all the best of luck on your endeavors. Okay, so that's those are the war plans. Seems like we're gonna have to go to the Sky Hall now. Oh, okay. Talk to Iris and Morden. Okay, I guess we're splitting up. We'll see each other again. Don't worry. Be careful, both of you. It's a war. I don't know how we can be careful. Morden? Getting to Sky Hall sounds dangerous, but I have faith in you, Quincy. Good luck. Thanks. Will you be okay, Morden? Quincy has a point. You might have to use your curse to kill people. Will you be alright? I don't know, but I'll do whatever it takes. I want to protect Samaria, since the war, since this war is our fault. I understand, but we did what we had to do. Fight well, both of you. We'll meet again soon. Okay. They're gone. They, they went to where they needed to go. And now I have to go to Sky Hall, but it seems like that has not been implemented yet. So with that out of the way and that said, I guess I'll end it off here. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode and or video so yeah